Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're going to take another look at the MR2 Spider and a problem with the top where when you shut it, the corners of the top kind of hang out. Uh, it's pretty popular to call that having ears. And supposedly there was a strap from the factory to correct this that wasn't even pre-installed and then a lot of people don't have theirs. There's a guy on Spider Chat, the forum, that uh, sells these that he makes aftermarket named Cyclehead. I'll put a link in the description to the uh, forum page where he's listing it. And it's supposed to fix this, and he made his adjustable so it works on factory and aftermarket tops. First I'll show you how I go about tucking those ears in manually, and then we'll look at the strap, and then we'll try to look at it installed, and I'll show you kind of how it works. So it's super tedious to do this alone, but basically when you're putting your top down, you have to kind of manually push the back in as it goes down. And of course you do one side and the other side is then hanging out. So you have to tuck it in as well and then kind of get it all in there and then latch it. When you don't do this, it's really hard on the corners here and seems to start pushing it up and separating this from the rain gutter. And I think over time that's actually gonna damage the top. So we really don't wanna to have to deal with that. So here's the strap. It's got snaps on both ends and then he kind of re-engineered this to have Velcro that covers it up once it's snapped to try to keep things from getting caught and the snap from coming loose. He's got it overlapping with Velcro here in the middle and he said he pre-calibrates these to fit the factory top but then you could separate them here and adjust this to create a different overall length so that it will fit an aftermarket top as well. So with the top kind of partially up, I was able to reach in here right behind where they separate and there's this strap that came with the car and it's built onto the top. It says when raising the convertible top, do not touch this part to not pinch fingers. And you can see it's got a snap there and some people reach in here and figure out that they've already got the strap and it's just not hooked back on, but mine's gone and I've just got these pieces. So what you need to do is feed that strap through here in order to connect it on both sides. So with some test fitting, I did decide to remove the Velcro from the ends. Uh, the seller said that may not work with the factory straps because they're a lot wider than this, and that was correct. So this is the factory mounting point. You can see that's a lot wider than the strap that he created. I think it's wider than the factory strap as well. Had a really hard time figuring out where it goes, so I wanted to show you guys. That's the pocket. This little guy right under here. It's a little bit of a different material on this factory top, but it's that right there. So if you look, this can end up inside of there, and that's where we're going to run the strap through. I had a lot of difficulty figuring that out. So I put some insulated wire through the snap and then we're going to run it through the car. You can see that the strap here needs to connect with the snap being facing down. So I'm going to try to run it that way and see if I can get it through. Okay, we're definitely going to want to blunt this end as well. Just really don't want to hurt the top at all. I'm going to take it nice and slow. The top is unlatched, so that should give us a little bit more play, too. I'm just going to try to feed it through. You can see it going across the top. It's going to be funny looking. All right, I think we're through, so I'm going to go to the other side. <coughs> So I'm just going to try to guide it a little, make sure it's facing the correct direction. It is. And it's already pulling up in there. I'm going to stop here and go ahead and snap it on. And I'm going to wrap it around this rail right here. So this strap goes around 
this component of the top and you're going to snap the strap onto it and hopefully we'll have enough slack to do that pretty easily on this side too all right it's in or out brother factory strap around that same top part, the frame for the top, and snap it in. All right, now we're going to test fit here. So he basically said if you've got it too tight that you'll get a wrinkle in the top. So let's shut the top. Seems pretty good. Doesn't seem like it's pulling. So we said it'd wrinkle right here if it was too tight. So hopefully that means we're good. Now I don't like to just drop the top. I like to kind of ease it down. Let's see. Alright, so it's pulling on both sides. Let's see. Okay, so that's pretty good. It's tucking it pretty well. Just ease it down. Hey, look! It totally worked. You can see now it's tucked in here real nice. Did that automatically. I did help it a little just because it sounded like it was creaking. So you can see that's the strap. That's where it pulls and comes down. So this one I helped a little. This one, I mean, it's up a bit, but I'm mean, so much better than it was. So you can see it's nice and tucked in on both sides. I'm going to pick it up again. So you can see there it goes. That's where it pulls in, tucks it in, and then as you shut, it's pretty good. I'm probably going to push it down a little bit just so it's nice and not hanging up a little, but so much easier than running back and forth around the car. I did struggle at first to find that pocket, you know, in the top, and uh, the seller was really helpful. I'm really happy with the results overall, and I do think that it's really worth doing. That said, I know not all aftermarket tops necessarily have spots to do this, and some factory tops they've torn out over time. I've also read that early on people were saying not to use that because it would deteriorate the factory top. Mine is 17 years old, so that's certainly a concern, but obviously we all know sooner or later we're going to have to replace our tops either way, and I do plan on conditioning mine really well. The biggest thing I read is that if they're cold, that it could, you know, cause it to not want to fold properly. And so, you know, this is a summer car for me. It's not a daily driver. It's not something I plan on driving when it's cold outside. Or if I do, I doubt I'll put the top down anyway. So it's probably not a problem. I'll put a link in the description to the Spider Chat uh, forum where I purchased these. I think it was really reasonable for the money. Uh, I like that they're adjustable, so if it's pulling too much or not enough or causing the little wrinkle on the top when the top's up, you can certainly adjust that out, and I think that's brilliant. I think it's some of the best money I've spent on the car so far. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to add, tips or tricks or other ways of doing this, please put that in the description as well. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks.